What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making something ridiculous. I'm making a rigatoni pepperoni pizza. Dare I say, a rigaroni pizza pie. Let's get on with the recipe. You know, this recipe and concept has been making its way through the internet and various different social platforms becoming super viral, but this ain't that. In fact, this has taken that recipe to a whole different place. Okay, I'm taking these rigatoni noodles and I'm not stuffing them with cheese that you might have already seen. I'm stuffing them with slices of pepperoni. Then I'm going to proceed to follow that viral trend, but top it with pizza sauce, more cheese, and more pepperoni because this is a rigatoni pizza pie, aka a rigaroni pie. And obviously you can make pizzas without pizza sauce, but this actually has a homemade pizza sauce. It's my standard issue pizza sauce that's combining a bunch of tomato products like tomato paste and tomato sauce with a little bit of onions, some garlic, and of course some Italian seasoning. Now typically when you make pasta you don't want to hit it with oil afterwards because you want that starch to soak up and stick to the sauce but because I am taking each one of these noodles and stuffing it I'm gonna to toss it in some olive oil so that they don't stick together. And I'm gonna run this pizza sauce through a blender to make it's super smooth and that's because when I put it on top of the rigatoni I want it to seep in the nooks and crannies and potentially even go inside the rigatoni noodles the thinner the sauce the more likely that's gonna happen now this part is legitimately a labor of love I'm rolling up the pepperoni slice as thin as possible and then stuffing each one of these rigatoni noodles with it I know it sounds tedious but trust me it's worth it this thing is packed with flavors and textures that make all this worth it. Now you've seen me use this type of cake pan. It's called a spring form cake pan. I like to call it a collapsible cake pan because you can take the sides off and that's going to be a great reveal after we bake all these rigatoni noodles. But before we do that, we need to tip it over vertically and let gravity hold these noodles in place as I stuff it with all these stuffed up noodles. For the cheese blend, I'm combining some mozzarella with some Parmesan. That's going to give it a nice texture and potentially a cheese pull. Okay, so here we are. Pepperoni stuffed rigatoni. You can see there's a little bit of placement in between some of the noodles and some of the pepperoni because they're not all exactly the same size. On top of this thing, I'm going to add a generous amount of cheese and then sprinkle on some oregano and pop this bad boy in the oven. Now, we're not putting the pepperoni on here first because I don't want to burn it. And once the cheese is melted, I'm going to take off the top, add some pepperonis and cook it for a few more minutes. Holy, holy, literally so many holes. But really, it's a rigatoni pepperoni pizza pie. This thing was made in a collapsible cake pan which lended itself well to releasing the hounds and releasing all this crispy, delicious cheese exterior. I took pepperoni and I stuffed it inside each one of these cooked rigatoni noodles. I topped it in cheese, topped that in some Italian seasoning, and then to take the rigatoni, AKA pepperoni pizza, to an even further destination, I added roni cups on top. I've made a lot of ridiculous things in my day. This one takes the cake, no, the pie. The rigatoni pepperoni pizza pie. I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.